Robin K. Rule. All right, so uh, Pichu and doubles. Uh, so you you live with Boyd, yeah. arguably best Pichu oh, uh, like, at this moment. Not arguably. <laughs> oh, all right, best Pichu <laughs> at this moment. Yes, definitely best Pichu right now. <laughs> oh, good spike coming out from you. All right, falling. But how does he uh, function in doubles? Um, from what I've seen, you just have to be even more careful and nimble and accurate in doubles because there's so much more hitboxes and you can just die at any point. So definitely can still work in doubles, but you have to be very Woo! careful. And wow, these edge guards coming out from Eon, definitely something Pichu is known for. All right, well. Oh, no. No, no, no not again. Okay, yeah, Ido was there with the upbeat just in case, but now Ido in a bad position here. Using that directional air dodge, I like it from Ido, just automatically using that directional air dodge to get that horizontal drift in. Okay, well, we saw the... <laughs> Dang. Down smash? Yeah, down smash, man. That move is insanely strong. Has the armor as well. Ooh, I like the down air. Yeah, the short off down air on stage is such a good option. And Ido, even being in like such a high pressure situation, surrounded by all, a lot of players, uh, just simply going for nares. Short off nares. Yeah, and ironically enough, I talk about how you have to be very careful with Pichu and. We still have Eon here sitting at three stocks. Oh, not anymore. Now Another sitting at there. two stocks. Hey, and there we go. Everyone's at two stocks. You're at two stocks. Go. You're at two stocks. <laughs> Everyone is two stocks. <laughs> yeah, everyone's at two stocks, man. All right, so right now, looks like uh, Robin bleeding very heavily here. 128% and counting. Falling going to have to survive here. This onslaught that the blue team is putting up. Yeah, it looks like Fallen's having a lot of difficulty dealing with Zan's projectiles. And then uh, whenever it's not projectiles, it's Eon's best character in his base. Oh, yeah. Back here, Out of Steel will take Fallen's stock. Now we see up throw into Thunder. Yeah, and right now, I mean, Red Team, you know, Idol's sitting at 137. Fallen already on the last dog. Looking pretty grim here. And, you know, the heavier characters are on the Red Team, but it just seems that they're having difficulty. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, he had the bomb. Wait, where did where did Idol go? So Idol fell down too and low. tried to tried to gimp with the nair, but he just fast fell a little too fast. Uh, not able to make it back. Yeah, and that neutral air is so good for edge guarding with K rule. Any character that just the, really relies on their hitboxes to recover, which is literally like Majority. almost everyone, <laughs> um, you kind of just armor through that. You know what I mean? And yeah. armor through it and nick them just just out of range. So unless it's like a very far recovery, you usually can get the gimp. Oh, good conversion here, but not going to pick up the rest. Now Fallen offstage. No, dead. And just Ido here. 2v1 situation, and uh, blue team looking pretty he healthy. And we see the taunt cancels coming out from Eon. There's the grab. Ooh, the down air, and Ido just taking so much damage. And wow, he got sent to the left there. <laughs> yeah, remember, Pichu will always send you in the direction that he's facing. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow, that's crazy. So while well, Pikachu will send you out in the direction of like where you're on which side you're on, yeah. Yeah, whichever side you're on, what? Pikachu that's will busted. always send you direction in space. Wait a minute, that's busted. Yeah, I mean, you're not <laughs> I have seen Void abuse that. <laughs> yeah, that that that's the first time I saw like Thunder in that situation. Or like it was so super apparent to the point where I was like, Wow, why didn't you get sent to the right? Looks like we're gonna stick with the same team here. Yes we yes, are. I see the team. crown. K rules crown. All right, so right now, Cookie Slayer and Eon with game number one here. Rocking the uh, more light and nimble characters. For yes, sure. and they seem to be working out. Yeah. They do have a, I would say, a, the bigger, or the, the better hurt boxes to come out outside of, oh. like, Eon or Ido. Wow, and just this oh. off stage. Oh, but Ido going to survive, going to get that taken. Everyone's off stage right now. Everyone's just, like, fighting. Like, what's the stage? I don't, I don't want to fight on that. Yeah, stages are overrated. <laughs> stages doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, good mash coming out from Cookie Slayer. And right now, here's all the setups. But Fallen able to get in, and Ido closing it out with that up smash. Yeah, unfortunately, the Thunder does make you stall out once you do get, like, the Lightning does hit Pichu. So it's yeah. set up. Perfect spot for Ido to just take that stock. Yeah. But wow, double, 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 double uh, arrow, man. Arrow. It's it, so reminiscent of laser. I want to call it laser. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it's off a short hop, too. So right now, you see how much Ido just has to respect Cookie Slayer's uh, pressure as that two link, throwing out those arrows, throwing out the bombs, all those setups. Dropping down with the Nair to punish uh, Eon. Wow, Doron connected, even though Pichu's so short. 
Yeah, and that that's really good stuff. That's a really big deal because right there, Ido. Oh dang, got annihilated right there. But uh, <laughs> you know, he, he got back thrown from Eon, and you know, was able to uh, cover with the Thorn Fall and able to seal out that stock. That's right. That was his first stock though. So for that to be uh, his first stock uh, after a little bit less than a minute thirty. Uh, with the way that these two have been putting out a ton of damage, that's still really good. But Eon already Dang, losing man. his third stock. Dang, I, Eon did a really good job of not dying in game one, but this is the product of when Pichu doesn't do a good job at not dying, and right now, already having to take his teammate stock and fall in the stock tank, man. Look at him. He has got all three on deck. Show him up and able to get back to the ledge. Wow, and he's, dead. Dead. he's dead. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> Falling. Four stocks. Eon just... <laughs> Did he get to 80 at all? Did he, you know did he just get to 80% at he all? Got was that to a 80 thing? when he hit the blast, though. Yeah, He's like, dead. <laughs> Fallen might not have all three of his stocks. I would actually be upset. Like, Idol, you really took my last stock. Oh, and shielding through it. K. Rule just. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was that was pretty cool, man. That was actually really cool. <laughs> he he extended the hurt box of yeah, the, of the, the, the shield. Because yeah, because of the shield. And <laughs> it was just so funny because it slowed down. K. Rule kind of like dropped the shield and was like, yo, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, what, what a, a turnaround. turnaround. Yeah, what a turnaround, dude. Uh, five stocks? Five, five stocks. With, with Fallen holding on to his original three the entire game. Yeah, like, you only took one K roll stock, and there's the swiftness on the switch. We're going to see the Fox come out. Eon's just like, all right, so Eon, a Fox main in Smash 4, very prominent Fox main in SoCal. Uh, Power ranked in the higher echelon of top 10. I think he plays very well as Fat this week too, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, I, from a lot of the Fox players I've seen, he's one of them that, like, from the very beginning was just like, I like all the changes to Fox. I really like this character. Still want to play him. So, yeah, I mean, definitely still a Fox main to my understanding. But, that, I mean, tried the Peach route, worked out game one. I definitely agree with this uh, switch to Fox for the game three, though. They definitely got, like, super body game two. So. Yes. <laughs> please, two was please not switch. In their favor. <laughs> but. Uh, Eon's doing a good job of just keeping Ido on the left side of the stage, making him in a recovery position. Oh, yeah. And Even until now. Most heavies are going to have trouble against, like, some of these glass cannon builds, like Fox, or just, like, anyone that's quick and has insane kill power, like Fox, Cloud, other characters like that. You know, when, when you don't live to 200%, it, it starts sucking, man. <laughs> Yeah. Fox is able to kill you at like 130-ish yeah. with up smash. It's like, dang, I know literally died at 137. Yeah. So, I mean, when we think about the previous matches that we've seen Ida been playing, that's a lot lower than what he usually gets to. Yep. 130 definitely being a much lower number than 200 for sure. And it starts adding up too when, when you're thinking of three stocks. Like, you know, a 70% gap, three stocks, that, that's a lot of damage. You're, like, less damage you're taking, <laughs> tanking. But right now, and, and another thing too is these, these heavies get comboed so hard from Fox as well. You get hit once and you're just eating so much damage as Eon is laying down the hurt. 124% already on Ido. But can we talk about Zan's uh, actually like pressure that he put on Fallen? So Fallen was on the left side of the stage trying to recover. Zan Z drops a bomb uh -huh. and then dropped down with the bomb and used the upbeat to recover. Nice. Hit, hit Fallen and then did it again. So at that point, he had no second jump. He was just dead. Wow, amazing edge guard coming out from Cookie Slayer. And one thing, like Cookie Slayer was a really good uh, Toon Link in Smash 4, but the way he played Toon Link was very aggressive, and I just feel like Young Link is just that perfect for his playstyle. Wow, forward air killing from across stage as, as uh, Cookie Slayer lands the forward air onto Ido. Okay, Ido trying to get this dash stack started, but right now, I mean, looking, uh, I mean, little favor in the blue team, but, oh man, now much more favor. Two socks of four, and oh my lord, off the top, no siree. And now both members of the red team are in this left side edge. Very difficult to get off this ledge with both these two swinging their uh, their swords and their legs at you. Yeah, red team looking at, like at such a big deficit here. Um, they're down two oh, entire stocks. Oh, the team kill! Yeah. That the, was your friend! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the king coming in and swinging in at the, his own teammate. Yeah, loyal subjects, I'll decide who's loyal. Yeah, Idol definitely utilizing that neutral B. And what is going on? Everyone's getting hit, and the up smash will take Idol out. Unfortunate team kill right there, and what a solid four stock return with the switch of to the Fox. I mean, Team San Diego. Idol definitely them. has a bunch of other characters up his sleeve. I don't think the K rule is good in this situation. I would like to see a switch off, but, but I mean, if Idol is confident two? in his K rule, 
I, I feel like you could just go pit or even Meta Knight. Yeah. Okay, well, he is bringing out the pit. And with the, the amount of projectiles that uh, Cookie Slayer is throwing at them, the reflector from from Pit may actually be a good choice. Yes. yes. Just send it right back to him. Yeah, uh, I mean, just like Young Link was generally overwhelming for K. Rool, but like you add Fox into that formula too, dude, it it, it gets a little too much. That's like, right. Because then, then you're just dying at earlier percents too, and you're taking all this combo damage. So Ido, I mean, he, he also mains Pit, so his Pit's probably just better than his K. Rool too. So also even more so of a factor to go into the pit here. So it looks like they do have combos, and we see down throw into Nair into up air for Team uh, San Diego. All right, so now even Blue interrupting team. Uh, Cookie Slayer with the down air. Yeah, right now Blue Team looking like they have all the control, but now Red Team coming into the center stage, but they're just getting smacked out here. And Cookie Slayer is doing such a good job on this young link, just holding all the control and Eon there to close out these stocks. Right. Big, big kill power coming out from Eon. Oh, okay. There's the up air strings coming out from Cookie Slayer. Ido trying to get his way back onto the stage, but Eon will not let him land. Look at the stage control from Blue Team. Oh, but getting sniped by his partner. Ido getting sent to center stage. Oh, the up smash to follow. No, Eon tries to go for the up or the uh, jump read there. Ido trying to get this side be going. And that's pretty smart coming out from, from uh, Eon because Ido was launched pretty far. He wasn't yeah. going to get a guaranteed up smash. Okay, Fallen try to get the up the edge guard on the Firefox. I like it because it is a projectile too, so you don't really risk like getting that Firefox trade. Oh, Ooh. wow, Fallen but trying to get trades. the uh, yeah the back air forward. That would have been nice of you. Oh, Ooh, directional okay. air dodge. The bomb should save him. Yeah, yeah he is going to be saved, but Ido not in the same position. But yes. wow, Fallen able to protect Clutch. his partner. Yeah. And that, that is some good team play, guys. That's right. That's the kind of stuff that you have to be ready to do. You have to be ready to back up your teammate. Wow. Amazing set from both of our teams. Hey, I don't, ooh, the shine, though. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, almost got the down air gimp right there. That would have been tragic for wow. Eon. And the entire time that was happening, we saw our other team members uh, just kind of going back and forth, trading with hits. And I, Eon just keeps... Uh, keeping the focus on Fallen, making sure he does not have an opportunity to charge up his projectiles. Eon finally going to get his first stock tank in, taken. And, you know, for the glass cannon kind of build that Fox is, doing a really good job staying nimble, staying fast, and, you know, being that stock take role. Okay, there's the intangibility, and Ido gets Swats back out stage immediately. This is going to be a big punish. Oh, just going to interrupt that with the grab, and then turn right around and get the up smash on Ido. Great dashing coming out from uh, from Eon, He's maintaining pressure on both his uh, opponents. Okay, wow, and what a scramble. Everyone is just clunched into that corner of the stage. Finally, everyone starts to disperse, but wow. Yeah. Eon was actually like the tactical master there. It's, he was like looking for his way in, and yeah. he rolled into the situation looking for a nair, just trying to like split everyone up. But man, even with the character switch to pit, it seems like we're still in the same situation here. Down two entire stocks. Can he get the stock on Cookie Slayer? Yes, he does. Idle with the neutral air edge, edge guard. That's right, but keeping this stock is going to be the hard part as a. Uh, as the blue team seem to be um, keeping their focus on Ido, they're putting Fallen off stage, making sure he's in a position where he can't charge his projectile for free, and then shifting focus onto Ido. Yeah, and when blue team has stage control, they make it count so hard. They they just they make it roll over and either get a lot of damage or the stocks from it. Oh, That's and right, there's the up, charge. Yep. Rapid rapid jabs are can be so dangerous because you do leave yourself open to your. Oh, opponent. the nutri Oh no, they're nairing him. Many nares. Give him the leg. <laughs> Oh, but the trade working out in Ida's favor. He did uh -oh. get hit with Firefox. Uh -oh. oh, yo, Cookie Slayer definitely looking for the style clip right there. Wanted that other arrow to hit so he could get that upbeat conversion. Oh, no. Fox off stage. You can see oh. the shine spike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's the shine spike there. And I, I'm pretty sure he could have staged or could have teched it there, but not really.